Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to uh, connect to an existing report which you published to the Power BI service through Jupyter Notebook. So in this case I am using Visual Studio Code Jupyter Note plugin but in essence the concept remains the same. So in this video we will learn how to access a Power BI report uh, using our Jupyter Notebook. Uh, you could use Visual Studio Code in which in this case I am doing that specifically. So we will just go through the code. And let's start. So the first one is I'm just importing these libraries. So from Power BI client. Uh, so these are the libraries I'm importing. And uh, don't worry, you don't have to uh, write this down. I will upload this uh, Jupyter notebook into GitHub and le leave a link to this in the video notes so you can download the file and experiment. So you import all the relevant libraries. And in this case, you don't have to import pandas because we won't be using any data manipulation. It's just sitting there. So I'll just hit shift enter and then I'll run this call the device code lo login authentication. So if you're going to connect to the Power BI service and render the report using Visual Studio Code, you need to uh, authorize or create an authorization. So let me just hit shift enter. And what it does is it gives me a code. So I'll click on this and let's go back to Visual Studio Code and saying that enter this code to authenticate. A bit like multi-factor authentication if you ask me. Uh, and then I hit next, but not. So um, you're just authenticating your, your subscription and your Power BI service. So once you authenticated, it says you've signed in to the Power BI client integrations application on your device. You may now close the window. So I'll just close the window. Now you notice I've got this file open here with me, which is nothing but my report. So I've got this uh, workspace and I've got a report. So you can see this is the workspace ID. And this is the report ID. So what we need to do or what we want to do is we want to render this report and we'll both of these will come in handy. So let's go back to the code again. And I need a group ID, which is essentially the workspace ID. So let's go back. So you see this is the same URL. I'll copy this. and. See, it's similar. I'll delete this and let's just paste this again. And then I'll copy the report ID, which is this, and paste it over here. And I'll hit Shift Enter. And then I'll render the report. So I'll render that specific report in Visual Studio Code. So you can see that it's rendering that report that we have in Visual Studio Code. So let's go back a bit and hopefully I've got another report that we'll try to um, maybe piggyback off. So let's see if I've got anything in the trend analysis report that we could leverage. So it's a separate report and it's got different report ID and uh, so let's go back to our code and let's go up a bit. So I'll copy the same code and let's go down so scroll down, but now we'll replace. So we'll use this group ID, which is essentially the same. So we probably don't need to copy paste this because it's ending with B4, but we'll replace the report ID here. So let's copy this and we'll paste it here. And now I'll hit shift enter, which is to execute the code in the cell. And then I'll just call the report object. And I'll hit shift enter. And you can see that a separate report has become available to me. So in this video, we learn how to uh, render uh, your already published Power BI reports using Visual Studio Code. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers. Bye.